Good evening guys, this is uh, Tiago speaking. Right now we're going to do a tutorial of uh, a fast tutorial of a CRJ700 by uh, Aerosoft. We're now in Orlando and we're flying to Miami International Airport. Um, this is going to be real fast, it's just uh, to show some guys how to prepare the aircraft and uh, proceed with the flight plan and uh, a great feature that we have from SimBrief mostly uh, did not get how to do the flight plan on the FMS so this is going to be real fast and a simple way to do your checklist and fire up the aircraft and fly all the route to the end okay so we're sitting at the gate uh, from North Shore 95 on Orlando International beautiful scenario that I have from um, I'm not sure. I think stacks to the to gate or something like that. Uh, okay, so now we're set up and uh, so here what I did. I fly with Delta Virtual Airlines and I and I'm showing this to more mostly to Andrew Vane that is very excited about the aircraft and the features and I'm going to show him one good feature in order to set up his flight plan and. Uh, and fly his route. Okay, so I'm using SimBrief for my dispatch. Um, I already did the setup of the flight plan. It gave me the block view, cruising altitude, and uh, zero fuel weight and the route. And now, Andrew, this is a this is one thing you should know. Uh, we have uh, the SimBrief downloader. Um, that's where you can choose to load your file, flight plans into the Sim, and also into the aircraft and FMCs and VPilot also. So right now we're gonna file up on the uh, Aerosoft CRJ and uh, VPilot. So you just checked whatever you wanted loaded the file plan to and I'll go ahead and select export okay shows that I already have and I'll go ahead and overwrite yes okay so we float we found the vpilot and the other soft digital aviation CRJ into it uh, let me go ahead and close we don't need that okay now back to the aircraft we're gonna go ahead and fire up here the uh, Dave and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we it's up to you. I mean, if you want to fire it up for craft first before you do the payload, or after, does it really doesn't matter? Uh, let's go to payload, and I put a 60 as a passengers on a sim brief page uh, with uh, 2.5 pounds of cargo and uh, the fuel and 150 pounds of fuel. And then you just click one time, set payload on view, and then it's going to show you in red. And then you click click again to set a payload and fill. And you are done with the payload and payload and fill. Now you're going to go ahead into the checklist. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. You can go all all four, but I'm going to go go ahead straight up. Um, uh, I think I already know all the setup. Indeed. Um, so NW string off, hydraulic pumps are off, and uh, landing gear lever down and lock, uh, fly spot, blah blah blah. Uh, radar is off. Yeah, so the aircraft is set to uh, cold and dark. And uh, now we can go ahead and start the APU. Now you have two options. One option will be the ground service. You can go ahead and uh, wheel blocks, wheel chocks on. Ground power, um, I'm not going to use because it makes a huge loud, huge loud noise on. So I'm going to keep it off for t for today's flight. But uh, you're always more than welcome to start the ground air and the ground power unit. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and straight up to the um, uh, to the APU. So, master battery on. 
and I'm going to go ahead and start the APU. Okay, you can push just to make sure you have a TPU information available. So the RPM of the APU is going to start up. Open the ISO and start the APU. So right now it's, it's going to generate a power tender into the aircraft. Okay. All right, so now we have a power into the aircraft. This is service you go ahead, can go ahead and turn on. Uh, air conditioning on and packs you can put on. This is the uh, aft cargo air con control on. Okay, the yoke you can hide from here. Light if you want. You can set up the light here. And you can put RS to nav. Okay. Okay, hydraulics pump uh, 3A to on. Now, uh, door. Can't let it start open the door if you have and so, but uh, it doesn't matter. You can start open the door at the beginning or anyway. Uh, cargo doors, service I'm not going to have. Service on this flight. Sure hop flight to Miami. And uh, okay, what else do we have to do here? Nav lights on, passenger signs, and no smoke sign on. Emergency light to arm, ELT arm and rest and reset. Make sure it's there. Okay. So uh, right now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up the FMS initialization. You're gonna go to click on startup status, position initiation. You're gonna put Orlando. Get the position FMS position and just set it. Uh, if you're going to the next page to so check, your S is all set. Go to flight plan. <coughs> okay, on the flight plan, you don't have. Okay, this is a good feature that I want to show Andrew. Uh, because you did through the uh, sim brief, if if you're doing that, I don't know if you if you're doing that or not, but I'm doing it, and it's a great feature that was established into uh, the Aerosoft uh, CRJ700. Uh, you're just going to click the route. Okay, and uh, you're going to put on a route. And voila, you have all your information there, man. The departure, region, runway, uh, the destination and uh, the type of flight you're using tonight, the, the, the number. Um, so this is all your flight plan inserted. The route is loaded and you can go ahead and execute. Clear. So now you have your route into the sim and also on the FMS. Uh, you can go ahead and check on performance initiation. You don't have to do anything. Everything is there. At 60 passengers. Uh, cargo, actually, you got to work on the cargo uh, that you had a setup before. So it's modified. And just click execute. 
a uh, few 950 pounds zero fuel weight uh, by level alternative cruising altitude 3400 34,000 and uh, you click on X and give you the performance initiation of the climb the ISA deviation the cruising wind and the descent wind so you don't have to do anything uh, the same brief already set up this for you uh, the tax fuel and the reserve you want to go ahead and check your same brief page and the reserve you have 1391 you can go ahead and change here Okay, and your tax fuel burn it's a uh, 500 pounds. It's already set over there. Um, so you're all set. There's nothing else you can do uh, on the FMS. You're all set here. Uh, if you want to check your legs, let's go ahead and check your legs. And uh, now the F. MF FMD. Um, sometimes it's going to show a lot of airports around. Um, you can go ahead and uncheck so you can get clear of the display. Okay. Uh, this one I don't know much. There's nothing you can do. Now, if you want to also clear the side, you just go right and you clear the airport also. Okay. So you have uh, the left display menu and the right display menu. So your legs, masters. So that's what the feature that I want to show you guys, and mostly to Andrew. Uh, radios, 122.8. Uh, we don't have ATC. Uh, actually, I'm going to file my flight plan. Load uh, Orlando, Miami. And here we have the flight plan. I have a P2 rating. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, fly, file. So the flight plan has been filed. Uh, go back to the craft and, uh, and then you can go on with a safety check. Uh, I mean, uh, that's pretty much it. You're going to do it. And what else? You're going to follow the next page. Originating check. One by two, internal and external pre flight checks complete, pedal seats, harness, screw, mask audio, electronic panel, fire detection, external lights, check, fuel panel over there. I mean, the panels you can go ahead and all ch check this out the door. Some of them are open. We'll go back to stat status here. Uh, you know, PFM, star hydraulic panel, ELT armor red that I already did. Cabin pressure panel, air conditioning panel, ice D T test. Uh, you can do it right here. So you're doing the test. ADS heat test okay. You got to uncheck. Uh, the windshield you can put it to low. Windshield temperature low. Emergency lights warm. And the standby compass checked. The end of the strings it's off. Shocks are set. Instrument panel checked. Gear case standby instrument checked. Anti ski test. About okay, go back. Warm and MLGV over overheat test. Upper pedals, pedal stall, uh, truss lever, crunching. Okay, the truss lever. Um, if you move your throttles, I'm using the SATAC throttles. Uh, if you move the throttles, you're not going to be able to move it because it's on shut off uh, lo uh, location. 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a press F2 and then you're gonna press F1 to lower the reverses because it's gonna activate the reverses so F2 and F1 to take off from sh uh, shut off uh, mark okay uh, alright uh, avionics by trims uh, check the trims here your trims is a 7.6 oh, you got 7.6 over there and the yaw dumper you're gonna click on the yaw dumper check if it's gonna go away just bring it over here One and two yaw dumper and the yaw dumper indicator is gone. Source select the panel to norm. This one is okay. Okay, now you can go ahead and arrange your the range of the MFD, you have a radar off, right on the display, traffic display not yet, and your source is going to be FMS1, in OVOR, right now we're going to go ahead and put FMS1, barrel reference, uh, we're going to click on B now to make it faster. And uh, the V speed, you can go ahead and click here, set takeoff speed, and so it's been loaded. But if you want to change, you can go ahead and change the speed reference right here. Okay, you just go speed select, and you select the the, the one you want to change, and you can change right here, and then you set. Uh, V1, V2, VR, and V2, and uh, so on. Uh, decision height. Okay. Go back. Checklist. Next page. Before setup checklist, uh, password signs are on. Then the levers. Landing elevation. The landing elevation is already set for you at your destination, so because you did through the sim brief, they'll load up everything for you, so you don't have to do anything. Uh, altimeter set, uh, FMS RS set, uh, radios, and have a set for departure. Okay, departing out of Orlando, we have. Uh, I'm gonna put a fix here. It's uh, ORLVOR as a reference so we have an reference there and I'm going to put a radius of uh, 2.0 a distance and I'm also going to put a 115 radar cross 115 no intersection Okay, um, I mean, just 2.0. So you can have your information of the Orlando View War. So you got your fix there. But your next uh, waypoint will be. Uh, Actually, let me go and connect Welcome the to a cars. TVA cars, load flight plan, okay, on that same, 19,000 south fly level, Fort Myers will be rerouting of a purport, and I'm going to go ahead and start, 
no need dispatcher. I already have the fuel calculators done. Uh, now I'm going to leave in daylight. Okay. So I'm okay now. So let's see. I have a VIP pilot on. My Rack Sky Force 3D on. Fly plan. Okay, so go ahead and uh, go over here. Fly plan load. Now we're gonna have the fly plane into the uh, active sky. Okay, two seven zero. So our runway will be thirty five left to nine hundred six. Consumer. All right, okay, so our first uh, adding The uh, heading uh, departure will be 005, the runway heading. Okay. Alright, what else are we going to need here? Alright. Take off briefing. Uh, we're not going to go through that. Uh, clear to start checklist. Okay, personal electronic devices off. Uh, if you AC electrics on and checked. Fuel pumps on. Uh, papers we received. Takeoff data is being set. Doors. Close cargo doors and the main exit. Go ahead and check the doors. All right, they're closed and locked. Fuel pumps are on. Beacon lights on. Fuel pumps in quantity. Okay. Check, check. I know it's not level off, but I'll level off uh, as soon as we're in the air. Uh, hydraulic pumps on out and on and we have uh, the 3A on parking brakes are set and in a start few feet check valve test and uh, let's go ahead and remove the little chocks Okay, the bleeder is normal, auto, and uh, ignition continue. Alright, let's go ahead and start pushing back now. Backs off. Right engine start. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and stop the pushback and parking brake set. Star engine left. Probe heat, we're going to go ahead and set on. We're going to go ahead and leave the AP1. Uh, I really don't know how, to w how it works. I interview you ask uh, how the APU works. Uh, some people say that uh, you, sh you can go ahead and turn it off the APU after 10,000 feet. Uh, take off on landing. So we're going to leave until we reach uh, 10,000 feet. Uh, generator, we're gonna put the engines one and two. We're gonna put on. Just be careful here. I'm gonna show this. Uh, sometimes it, when we're gonna check it clicks off, so we just go back on. Okay, just put it back on. Uh, Tax light on. We're gonna put a flaps eight. So. Generator one and two for the engines. Uh, bleed valves and backs out and on. It's already on. APU as required. So this is it's, it's up to you if you want to leave the APU on on or not. It's up to you. Anti eyes we're not going to use. My uh, for the now it's getting hot. Hot weather's uh, probes are on. Electric check. Rudders checked. Uh, and the normal NW string armed okay taxi Charlie select flap set indicator flight control checked the trim green and checked trust two reverses are armed Flight instrument checked, FMS auto tune, and brake temperature. So, FMS auto tune, you're gonna go ahead and put it here the uh, transponder to one and a backup tuning unit mode to on. So, your t is already in auto, you're gonna have to deal with the t -cast. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, weather radar test and now we can go ahead and uh, click on step trim on and the mock trim okay so we're good weather to WX now you have the WX Now, what I do in order to uh, go with the flight plan and uh, the, the climb and the descent, I always go to uh, direct intercept uh, on the second FMS of the, the, uh, the co-pilot and it should use the uh, vertical speed in order to reach to Tellman uh, 16,100, you have to put uh, 2182 in vertical speed and uh, so on. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and text. Okay, so we reach uh, the uh, Runway for takeoff. Uh, make sure we have 35 left. Yes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set up the uh, strobe lights on. And the lights on. And then uh, we have a takeoff config OK. Left and right reverses arm. 
little trap coming in. Okay, so we're ready for takeoff. Uh, laps, everything okay. Give it a little more check. Flight stroke, fuel on X flow, ignition on the ice, uh, auto tender uh, device, uh, transport to cast, uh, we already did. Radar terrain, it's place required, cast check. Off. Check. V one rotate. V two. Gear up. Alright, so far I'm doing hand flying with best 1000. Okay, thrust reverse is off. Nice to light off. So we're above 2,300, and we can go ahead and uh, actually through 2,600, we're starting making our right turn into our waypoint. Okay. Laps one. If you want to go ahead and set up your autopilot, uh, you can go ahead and more than welcome to do it. Let's go ahead and set up a heading and uh, and a speed. So we're not going to do any vertical speed uh, altitude. We're going to go ahead and set up the speed and automatic is going to do our climb. And then you have to work with your. Uh, Auto throttle. So right now, 230 knots, and uh, it's gonna start climbing. And we can put a heading. I think we turned too much. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, uh, this has a problem here, this being been owned by Aerosoft, uh, the reverses are not kind of coming out on the... Okay, so now we have a reach, flaps up, we're going to set up speed to 50 knots. And now you can put your... Uh, next waypoint and execute and then you're going to do the nav setup and now you have your okay altimeter we're going to go up with the altimeter to and it's p290 
up to the 19,000. If you want to synchronize your heading, you can go ahead and click it, and it will synchronize for you. Uh, land the lights off. We have a trap coming down here. So we are climbing. You can do their checklist if you want. Give a little look outside. It's a beautiful craft, man. I for the default, uh, CRJ to uh, FSX have been modified and. Uh, I did fell in love with the CRJ since then and uh, I really really appreciate what Airsoft have done together with um, digital, digital Aviation I think it is with uh, the CRJ and so far no complaints for me I know there are some bugs but hey all the aircraft has some bugs so now you do the standard barrel reference, uh, let's go to put standard, just click it here, and you have to do also a compiler. Okay, so we reach our level, we're going to level off here, uh, 19,000, and then now you have to work your uh, throttles. Uh, you don't have all the throttles anymore, so you have to keep working on it not crossing the speed or not going too slow lower to 15,900 yeah, I'll show here and the vertical speed we can get it set to about uh, 900 900 and you have to work with your throttles so you don't over speed the aircraft. So this is the feature you're gonna keep looking at is the, uh, the direct interception this section. And they have to just look around the uh, the vertical speed into what by level you want to descend into. And actually it's got a 16. No, cancel notification. And I'll turn it in Miami. It is right now 229er and a 7. You have to do a new profile at 29997. Okay. So you are descending 900 feet per minute. for runway uh, 26 right in Miami that's what I'm going to use and the nav is 109.30 and also a course of 272 and 272 so you're good 
Okay, now what I did here is on the uh, fire dynamics, uh, I set up the, uh, the length of the runway is 86,000, okay. But now we're going to send to 11,000. Not crossing 16,000, not uh, crossing 16,000 below at Scott. Now you can go to start bringing your craft uh, down on the very first speed. Some bad weather in front of us.
go ahead and put the heading. Some alligators, huh? <laughs> Everglades. That's Sopalaca International Airport here on our left hand side. APU. In case we need more power. Traffic Miami International. Okay, let's see. Here we go. No, no traffic. I'm following the vertical speed of the FMS. Should be reaching you know, the final below price on the way to six right very shortly. This will be a hint waypoint into the horizon.
hours. One 
south. landing um, how much is there just follow the path and we did auto land uh, manual landing now we're gonna go ahead and uh, if you're already on the uh, strobe lights off the lights are off next light on up ropes on okay we're gonna shut down let's go ahead and park to our gate uh, we're gonna go to a concourse H concourse hotel and it's gonna be a long way to go. Go ahead and cross here. Two six left. We don't have no traffic.
ton of here on the to show you guys easy and simple setup and uh, and 
that was a good flight. Thanks, Roger. 